about to get good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Apple Valley, Minnesota. Weighing in at 230 pounds. The Northern Classic Wrestling Dragon Champion, Mr. Jimmy. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. Make way for the Celtic Warrior. Now this is a young superstar who's been on an absolute tear. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Seamus. A man who wears his Irish heritage proudly. Already one of the top competitors in Europe, Sheamus seems poised and ready to absolutely take over WWE. I got a feeling that bro kick is more than ready to strike tonight. Now, I'm not one for speculation, but Sheamus says tonight he has a bro kick for a commentator, too. But Sheamus likes you and Michael. <laughs> And we have a non-title bout here where we have a confident champion who knows the title is going nowhere tonight. Yeah, Cole, but it shouldn't mean he can take this match lightly. A champion always represents a measuring stick to the competition. A chance to make a bold statement at the expense of someone in a prime position. The champ is truly in a prime position tonight. This might be a preview of his next title fight right now. And standing in the opposite corner is the Celtic Warrior, who has no regard for his opponent or the spirit of competition. Sheamus is looking to storm out of that corner and turn your lights out. Well, you know how dominant Sheamus is, Corey. So what needs to be done tonight to put the Celtic Warrior away? You need to take out his legs, which power the devastating brogue kick. If you don't neutralize this, it can be lights out in a hurry. <laughs> Snap power slam. He's got him down. Is this it? He's able to kick out before two. Not yet. Oh, just turn that around. Strong shot to the back. Uh, there's more to come. Pow! Knee all the way to the outside. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Taking flight all the way to the outside. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Dropping the knee for more punishment. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Shane is looking to beat the respect out of him. He steps foot in the ring again. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. What oh, an cut. That'll cross some teeth. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. Shame. And will this be it? And he easily kicks out of the count. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. Simple but effective side headlock takeover. Tremendous pressure applied. He's re 
returning fire. Sheamus setting up. Irish curse delivery is that done. Irish curse backbreaker. Three massive Irish curse backbreakers. And you can tell Sheamus is savoring every moment of this. Dominance persona. Going up. Uh oh. Throwing down punches and counters out. Sheamus from the top misses just one step ahead answer after answer for each other's offense here Ooh, point of the elbow counters that oh man right on the mark oh wicked kick to the lower back kick to the gut the setup up and face first. He's absorbing some tough hits now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. That didn't look good for Sheamus. Yep, he's busted open now. Lifting their opponent up and driving them down in a reverse DDT. Sheamus is in crisis mode. Here is your winner, Mr. Jimmy! A jarring loss for Sheamus here. I think this loss will only cause that mean streak in Sheamus to grow.